I was saying. Uh -huh. Hops are the beauty of the beer. You can dry yeah. hop it, boil it, single hop it, mash it, cryo freeze it, oil press it. There's a East Coast IPA, milkshake IPA, brood IPA, double IPA. Who's making it? Wet beer? hop IPA. There's so many. Black IPA. There's a Belgian IPA. Get out of here. There's a rye IPA. Lie. There's a New England IPA. There's a New Zealand IPA. Fruit IPA. Triple IPA. Wait, what is it too many? West Coast IPA. Yeah, that's enough. ESB is technically yeah, it's you know, enough the IPAs. dessert IPA. And don't forget about pale ale. I mean, who can forget about that? What's a pale ale? Well, I told you that if we ever found a way to make Lieutenant Dan IPA better. You've said that so many times. They would. Hmm. And here we are. We made a double version. Okay. They, they put a crap load of pineapple on it. Yeah, but they already did the Sipter one. That that was the like creme de la crap. This has like over like 500 pounds of pineapple per barrel. I don't think that's legally allowed. Uh, it might be. Uh, and to make it better, when you drink this, if you pair uh -huh. it with the animals, animal tracks, uh -huh. it makes it better. Hashtag yeah. proper glassware. Uh, proper if we haven't alluded to glassware. so far, more horse brewing. This is their Pineapple Dan. So a pineapple variant of their Double Dan. And uh, full disclosure. Full disclosure. This is canned on 3-11-2024. We're about two weeks got. out. And I've already gone through two four-packs of this. So. Me too. I think I still <laughs> might have one more can. Uh, yeah. Complete and utter transparency. We have already had and enjoyed this beer multiple times. It's so It's so good. good. Remember, remember when Citra Double Dan was like the beer? All right, you pour yours and we'll yeah, see what, what happens. Get. That's what you get. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone else out there was wondering, like, how are they going to make Double Dan even better? That Citra, award-winning, so delicious. And they said, you know what? We're probably not. So just toss some pineapple in there and see what happens. So, yeah, we've done, we've done the Citra Dan. Yeah. We've done the Double Dan. Yeah. Uh, Lieutenant Dan? Did we ever do at the actual Lieutenant Dan? I'd have to look back. Yeah. But there's been Mosaic Dan, oh, uh, yeah. Galaxy, Galaxy Dan, Dan. Yeah. which yeah, that, that one was. Oh, uh, okay. don't forget Motueka Dan. Oh wait, oh, no, no, we no, no, I haven't done that. No, I haven't done that yet. Huh? Anyway, <sighs> hashtag proper glass. Hashtag proper glassware. Proper glassware. That just looks delicious. It looks like pineapple. A nice juice. frothy head. Beautiful looking head on it. Oh, it is Foamy, very frothy. So it is very vibrant. It's as bright as it looks on camera. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just taking a moment to appreciate what we're about to. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. She's, She's a beaut. Let's get with it. Okay. Here's the deal. It's fresh pineapple. It's pineapple candy. Yep. It's the pineapple in the little fruit cups, mm -hmm. in the little semi syrup. It is pineapple lifesavers, which is the candy. But it's with just a hint of like, like pineapple spongy candy in there, a little confection. But it's got like it's like ripe pineapple, but. Underripe pineapple, but then like it's got like this dank kind of Mary Jane yeah. Moana thing. Because you can already on. smell some of the like leafy fresh bitterness to it as well, and a little bit of citrus. This in is there. the truest expression of pineapple. Never has pineapple done been done better than in this beer. Like, cause uh, the, the base beer just. You ever have fresh pineapple? <laughs> it's garbage compared to this. Terrible. It's good. Cheers. Cheers. So, while we're tasting that, Mike's going to talk about it. Here we got those big cans of, like, dull pineapple juice. Yeah. That's that's what it tastes like. Um, so, there's a real nice, like... I, I may have IP. oversold this. I, I knew I oversold it. <laughs> no it, way. It, it's only 200 pounds of pineapple, but... I told you that was impossible. No, no brewery in the right mind is going to put 500 pounds of pineapple into a beer. You know, if you it's ever impossible. make a triple, it's impossible. That'd be the way to go. Um, the the fresh, 
green, grassy, leafy bitterness on the back end of it. So it's a little, a little drying, mm -hmm. a little pithy. Uh, breaks up the juicy aspect. Breaks up a little of that confectionery sugar aspect. Sweet without being sweet. It's juicy. Oh, there was a mango double dan. Forgot about that. Oh, there was mango double dan. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'd like to have that one again. But yeah, I mean, sorry for being rude there on my phone. Just wanted to double check, dude. Oh, look, the foam has came down. Yeah, it's like the nice cloudy kind of. It's gorgeous. It is. It's a cloud of deliciousness. Look at that. It's just, I love it. Well, sea sea foam action. You too can get this hashtag proper glassware if you visit the Warhorse Brewery out there in Geneva, New York. Um, great campus. But you're right. It, it is like, it's like a bunch. It's like every wave of citrus. Minus like some lemon. I don't think the lemon is your problem. Yeah, but there's like yeah. orange and tangerine and uh even like maybe a touch of like the sweeter side of a grapefruit, but the pineapple just like envelops into like this it marries with like the bittering pine mm -hmm. and it, it comes out a little dank nugs. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. I think it's such a balanced pineapple beer. Like, I think it really sets the bar for pineapple flavored. The mouthfeel yeah. is full and chalky. Yeah, yeah, very and much so. The, the body is probably higher side of medium. For, yeah. For the ABV. Um, I don't even know if I said the ABV. Uh, 7.5, so... 40 IBUs. So it's, it's got some bittering to it, but boy, does that juice just ever just, it takes over. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, for, for the newest entry in the, the Dan series. It's the best. Um, yeah, it's my favorite so far. I love this beer so much. Although the citrus is really good too, though. Oh, man, it's good. I drank a can of that recently so, too. There is a really abundant sweetness to this. But, I, but it still comes off as not being overly sweet. Like, it's just such a pleasant sweetness. Oh, I gotta go be there. rude one more time. It's okay. It's gotta I gotta happen. be rude one more time. This might be my favorite Dan yeah. in all of existence. I think... I was checking because I was like, I didn't even check in because I, I was like, man, we're going to review this. So I, 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 yeah. I don't want I don't want I just want to drink it to drink it. <laughs> not rate it, not talk about it, not be about it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to drink eight or nine of these. Before we review, just to make sure I like it. I can't help it. I do it. I just do. I was, I was on it. I had, I had this can on the bottom shelf of my fridge. I was like, oh, I'll save this to review. And I was like, oh, well, not all the other ones. Well, I guess I better buy more because I, I want this to be a fridge beer for now. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I mean, the price points are ridiculous. So, uh, four pack of this. And yeah. It's like 13 bucks. It's so, so stupid cheap. Yeah. Um, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give it a 4.8. I'm there too. I'm going to give it a 4.85. This is One. a fantastic beer. It's so good. Uh, another delicious entry from Warhorse. <sighs> we need to go out there again. Oh, my. Dude, is that Captain Reckless there? Oh, Sergeant Reckless? It's Sergeant Got Reckless. Me. Yeah. I believe it is. Uh, uh, if they're not... So, Warhorse has an apple cider slushy machine... If they're not making slushies with this beer, they're missing out. Make slushies with this beer. Can they do that with beer? Oh. Uh, I don't care if they just give me ice and let me pour the beer over it. It's like a, it doesn't it's like matter. A, here's your, give me a plain snow cone. Your, I'll pour my own beer. Here's on. your pineapple dance <laughs> slushy snow cone. <laughs> it's going to be garbage, but whatever. I don't care. Here's your 7-Eleven cup. All right, down the link tree. Uh, Piss up. Why not? <laughs> Sergeant Reckles approves. This is fantastic. Cheers!